Fine. Let's do this. Hello, my name is Lawyer Boy, and welcome to this Steampunk Clock Tower tutorial. And well, it is a tutorial that is heavily requested, and I'm going to start it by ignoring the two towers I have over here and the two towers right there. As you can see, I've already tried to do a tutorial on this tower, and well, each time I did it, the recording turned out to be too long, two hours long, I would be exact. And well, considering that I already have two tutorial videos that are relatively long, I maybe should ignore that fact and try to do this tutorial and still I will try to make it as short as possible, I don't, I don't mean short, I will try to shorten it as much as possible and well I think that we can start this by turning off the shaders and pasting the clock tower right over here to use it as a reference. So shaders are off and our build is in front of us and well I'm going to separate this build into five parts so this tutorial will have five main parts so those five main parts will be the base or build the first floor, the second floor, the third floor and the roof of our build. Now this build covers the 7x7 seven seven area, not including all of the details and all of the pop-outs it has and it is 47 blocks high. Now before we start with the tutorial, I would like to show you the block palette we are going to be using for this build and it is right here. So you can immediately see how each of those blocks will be working together and well behind it I've also prepared a very block palette that you can also use if you want to build the same thing with a little bit of a different blocks. Now in the chest next to this I've also prepared the exact amount of blocks that you're gonna be needing for this build. Now the exact number of blocks may vary by one or two this is fine I think and if you're building this in a survival I highly suggest to prepare almost the exact number of blocks as you can see here. Okay and in the chest next to it we have few blocks that numbers may vary depending on how you're gonna build this. So main thing to look out, chains for example, it will depend how long do you want your little weights or your little chains to be. Also the number of polished blocks you're gonna be using depends on how much gears do you wanna have on your clock tower and the number of anvils for example depends on how expensive using anvil is in your survival world when you're building. So we're gonna start by building the base of our build and in the hotbar you can see the blocks that we're gonna be using for the base of this build. And for the starters we are going to create a frame for the base and the frame is going to be 6 blocks tall and later we are going to add some little features on it. Okay, so keeping on the frame we are going to add little details on it like little pop-outs like this. Then we can later add little pop-outs on the bottom side like so with some stairs on top like this and then you can also go around and add some open fence gates like this and then add some spruce or spruce some stone buttons like so and then you have detailed the frame for your base. Okay, once you have done with your frame, we're gonna go and start building the walls of our base and we're gonna start by filling in this area with some stone bricks, like so. Make sure that this little wall is in by one block, like this. After that, we are gonna place a stone brick right here and a stone brick right there uh, and then you're gonna have the same exact thing on the upper side so it's gonna look like this after that we have a stone brick stair here and a stone brick stair here some more stairs right there and keeping on onto the stairs you can create this little pedestal like so and same thing right here after that with the stairs we can create this little archway of sorts and then later we can take some stone brick slabs place it here and place it here after that we have this middle part to finish, so we're gonna have a block here, and a block here, and a block here, and then we're gonna have walls in between, and over here we're gonna have an anvil, and an anvil on top. And this is basically the stone wall, and then you can just copy it anywhere you like, and after that we are going to create a little window on the side. 
So as you can see, I've decided to copy this wall on this side and well here I've also prepared everything for the window. As you can see, this is almost the exact same thing. We just don't have the middle part as we have just these little corner bits with the anvils and some stairs. And well, for this part, as you can see in my hotbar, I also have some spruce chap doors and some stained glass panes and glass for the window. So we're gonna start this very simply by creating a little bit of a platform, I would say, for our window right here. And then we are going to create a little bit of an archway right here with some stone stairs like so. And we have a little archway for our window. We're gonna also decorate it so we don't actually need this stone block right there we can have a stone stair and then we can have some brick slabs like so after that you can go on and place some trap doors in here so you can give it a little bit of a let's say frame to the window after that we can go inside place some blocks right here and then we are going to have a little bit of a glass so we're gonna use some white stained glass and then we're gonna have some glass panes in the middle after that, the only thing that we can do is finish this off. So we're gonna have a stone brick stair right here and then two slabs in between. And here you go, you created your little window. If you want to create it, of course, if you don't want to, you can just copy this exact same wall over here. Well, now we can go and build the entrance or the door for this tower. And well, this will be very simple to do. So we're gonna have a stone brick block over here and stone brick block over here in the corner. Right after that, we have some stairs like this. On top of that block, we are gonna have a stair. And then we are gonna have a upside down stair on top of this stair. Then we have some angles on top of them, of course. And then you can just connect it like this with some stone bricks. After that, we are gonna create a little bit of an archway like this. And then we are going to have a little bit of a frame with some trap doors like this. And then you can create your little door over here. I recommend using some trap doors. And of course, we are going to have a real door in the middle like so close them up and this is basically finished okay then we have uh, one little thing to do which is this little overhang right over here it serves like some kind of a let's say roof bit or a roof frame it's really simple to do we're gonna have a stone stair stone stair a stone stair in between the stone stairs we are gonna have some stone brick slabs after that we have a stone brick slab on top of the stone brick slabs and with that we are going to have a stone stair upside down like this in the middle and you can just copy this on all four sides and then the base is finished now before we go on the second floor i forgot this little thing so this is going to be just a little lantern for the little light right over here you can do it like this if you want to or you can do it however you like to so now we can go and start building the first floor so the first floor is going to be again six blocks tall and we are going to start by creating a six blocks tall frame so using again dark oak logs to create this frame and then we are going to decorate it after that okay with this little frame done we can decorate it by creating some pop-outs like so that's our main theme of this as you can see creating these little pop-outs on the cross sections after that we are going to introduce some little details with trap doors on the bottom and on the top like this and then in the middle we are going to have an anvil if the anvil is a little bit too expensive for you you can always use some barrels instead of course don't forget to put some stone buttons right over here of course copy the exact same thing on all four columns okay now comes the little bit of an easier part this is the part where we create the walls of our first floor and the walls are really simple we are gonna have a line of dark oak stripped logs one block from the center same thing on the other side so they are basically around the center in between those logs we are gonna have some oak planks like so 
and then you can use some stripped oak logs to texturize it a little bit however you wish to you don't need to follow exact pattern you can do it however you want to and give it a little bit of a texture and then you can just copy the exact same wall on all of the sides and well if you want to have a little bit of a window i recommend leaving the back side empty for the window Okay, now we can go and start creating this little window. So for this window, we are, it's very simple. We are going to have a line of oak logs right here and right here. It's basically the same wall. It's just not going to have this little middle piece filled in right now. We're going to fill it in with some spruce planks here and a spruce planks on top like so. Then we're going to use some spruce stairs to create this little bay like this also on the same thing on the upper part where we had these spruce planks okay after that we are going to be using some white stained glass to put it right here and then some glass panes to put it in between and we created the bay window with that we can finish it up by creating a little bit of a shutter right here to give it a little bit of a more details and then you can maybe if you want to put some texturizing with some stripped oak logs like so and with that the second floor or actually the first floor for this build is finished so now we can go and start building the second floor and of course we are starting with the frame. Now the frame is going to be 10 blocks tall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And well once you're finished with the frame of course we are going to decorate it a little bit. So now we are going to decorate it a little bit. We are going to have a pop out over here like so on a little cross section of course. After that we are going to have a barrel on the bottom with some grindstones on top of our little pop out from the first floor. After that above the barrel we are going to have some spruce trap doors like so. In the middle of course we are going to have an anvil. After that you can go over here place a button right there if you already haven't. Below our little pop out we are going to have a barrel I like this not like that so we have this little reinforcement bit showing. Below the barrel we are gonna have some trap doors and then on top of the barrel we are going to have some open spruce trap doors and in between the little pop outs we are going to have some dark oak fence gates and I'm gonna put a pop out over here with some buttons and well you can just copy the exact same thing on all of the sides of our frame. Okay, so with the frame decorated, a little tip that I want to make sure you follow along is that to make sure that the anvils are facing the same exact direction all of the time so that you don't have this anvil and it will not look right a little bit. So with the frame finished, we can go on and start building this little little this big window we're gonna have over here so we're gonna start by creating this little frame with some stripped dark oak logs like this and like this you can close it off on top like so after that we are gonna have some spruce stairs like this so it creates this little let's say circle thing and it looks like a bench i would say after that you can just create a little bit of a more frame with some trap doors on top of or on the side of our strip dark oak logs with that you can finish it off on the top with some spruce stairs finishing off with the spruce trap doors and copy the same exact thing with some trap doors on the other side of this frame of our window after that we are going to go inside we're gonna place some spruce planks like this and like this also some spruce planks on top and on this side if you want to you can use some spruce stairs like this and then we're gonna use some black stained glass and some gray stained glass so we're gonna start with black black stained glass in the corners like this and then gray stained glass and then we are just gonna have a checker pattern going all the way up And well, with that, the window is finished. You just basically copy paste the exact same window on the opposite side or on the back side. 
So now we can go and start building the sides of our second floor and as you can see I've already completed it as it is really self-explanatory it's just the line of stripped oak logs followed by the line of stripped dark oak logs and continuing the pattern and you just do the same thing on the other side and well I wanted to use this opportunity to talk a little bit about the gears that go on the side of this second floor. So if we go over to my original build of this clock tower, you can see that on the second floor I have three gears that are sticking out a little bit from the walls and well if we look through the window you can immediately see how they give off an illusion that they are interlocking with each other and that they are moving, let's say. And well this is something where you need to be a little bit creative. So you will need to find a spot where you want to place your gear and then you need to build it. Of course I'm gonna show you those gears over there so you will be able to pause the video and copy them as they are pretty self-explanatory. But the main gist of it I would say is to have three gears but also you can have as many gears as you want to and complete them in the circle. Also you need to make sure that they are not too big so that they can fit in completely. And now I'm just gonna show you where each of the gears that I, I've placed and I have over here is. So if we use the anvil as the reference, the center of the bigger gear is right in line with the anvil. Right after that, next to the bigger gear, we have the smaller one, which has its center right below the anvil. And on the other side, we have the medium size gear, I would say, that it has its center above the anvil as you can see and then you can just build them if you want to and you maybe can add a little bit more if you want to and well if you want some more variation of the gears i suggest you go visit my instagram there is a very early post that i created with more versions of the gears and well now i'm just gonna take a closer look at each of the gears i used on this floor so you can pause the video take a closer look copy them over, they are pretty self-explanatory, it should be really easy to build. So I've just pasted the exact same gears I had on my original and now we can start by creating the third floor that will have a clock on it. So with that, of course, we are starting with a frame that's going to be 11 blocks tall. And well, you can just immediately give it a little bit of a pop out on the top like so. And now before we go and texturize or actually before we go and detail this like we did in the last three, we are going to create a little bit of a ring around it on the bottom side. And this ring will mostly be using some dark oak stairs. So we're going to have an upside dark oak stair here followed by a normal stair, then an upside down one, followed by a normal and you just continue the same pattern all the way to the and and then on this edge we're gonna have a dark oak slab same thing on the other side like so after that you can just place some dark oak trap doors on top of the upside down stairs and you continue the same pattern creating a nice ring after you have created this ring you can take some grindstones and then place them on the bottom of this slab then you can take a spruce fence place it right here and then you can use some chains and make this as low as you want to or as long as you want to and then you create this little hanging feature of course you do this on all four sides and then we can go and start detailing the frame okay so now when you're finished with this one thing that i want to mention is to make sure that the grindstones are facing the same direction so that they don't look out of place and well as you can see i've made the chains be of the different height to give it a little bit more interest and now we can go on and start detailing the frame itself so for frame we're gonna have a barrel on the bottom over here followed by the trap doors and then on the top you're gonna have the same thing barrel followed by a trap doors like so and in the middle instead of an anvil we are going to have a barrel because if you see over here we are not going to have 
enough space for the anvil actually the anvil will be showing the back side the white side of the clock so we don't want that okay after that on top of over here we are going to be using some fences that I don't have right I have need to some fences yeah some spruce fence gates like so over here and over here of course don't forget to add a button right on top of it like so and then you just copy the same exact same thing on all sides of this frame okay so after that when you're finishing detailing every single side of the frame we are gonna just complete it by connecting the pop-outs like this so we are using a gate followed by a fence then a gate a fence and a gate it's all dark oak and you just complete it and connect it on all sides like so and once you're finished with that we are going to go and start building the walls of this third floor and we're gonna start by building the clock side of the wall so in my hotbar i have all of the blocks that we are going to be needing for this and we're gonna start by creating this little section so we're gonna be using some stripped oak logs and some stripped dark oak logs and we're gonna start by placing three here three right over here and then we're gonna have two here make sure that it's one block below the dark oak log and then we are gonna have the same height over here and same height over here of stripped oak logs and after that we're gonna fill this in with some blue blue with some white concrete powder and this is going to be five blocks tall so one two three four five and just fill it in and make sure it doesn't fall down okay like so we're gonna have one over here and then just copy the exact same thing from the bottom side over here with the same pattern and then we have created a blank canvas where we can module the circle of our clock tower or actually of our clock and we're gonna do that by using some spruce slabs spruce stairs and spruce planks so we're gonna start by spruce slab right over here you can follow it up by a trap door right there after that we are gonna have a stair here then a stair like that they are upside down as you can see then it's gonna be followed by a normal place stair like this and same thing on the other side don't forget to do that of course after that we're gonna have an upside down stair right here on our frame then we're gonna have a spruce plank here followed up by a stair on top of it and the same thing on the other side of course actually we don't need this over here I miss placed it so it's like this like this and i like this and then you just copy this exact thing over here so we have a stair a stair like this a slab a stair and a stair like this and here you go you created a circle now it doesn't look like a real circle because we need to add some little things so we are going to help it a little bit with some trap doors so it isn't so on the edge i would say and then you can just give it a little bit more help with some trapdoors on the side and like that we have completed it this is our circle for our clock tower and over here yeah like that after that we are going to take some spruce logs oak fence dark oak fence and a stone button and some spruce buttons if you want to so in the middle spruce log button oak fences fence gate and we have created a clock and if you want to you can place a button here and a button here for a little bit more details of course just copy the exact same thing on the other side or actually on the back side okay now with the clock finished I'm going to go and build the walls for the side and the same thing as over here I'm going to just build the walls and I'm going to go over there and talk about the gears and where I place them and that will be it for this floor so we're gonna start this off by filling in this area so we're gonna fill it in with a stripped oak log followed by a dark oak log then a stripped oak log followed by a stripped dark oak log and then stripped oak log like so after that we're gonna have a line of stripped dark oak log like this and same thing on the top side line of stripped dark oak log after that we are gonna have a spruce stair over here spruce stair right here same thing on the over here on all of the corners and right next to those spruce stairs you can place some trap doors like so 
and after that you just fill in this area with some oak planks actually it's going to be a line of oak planks like so and it's going to be followed by a line of stripped oak logs so like this after this you can also place some signs if you want to you don't need to place them there are just a little bit of a decoration not needed but they do give a little bit of a pop out now after that we also need some trap doors that i just noticed i forgot so trap doors right over here right in between those dark oak trap doors same thing on the upside so trap door here block empty trap door here block empty trap door here and well with that this side is finished you just copy the exact same thing over here and then you can fill it in with some gears on the side so over here i have few gears that i've placed over here and one is really big and one is really small now i want you to notice that the bigger gear is in on the opposite side from the first bigger gear so if i actually go on the other side so over here and well as you can see we, here we have on this side the left side we have this big gear that's on the second floor and then we have the big gear on the right side and when you look at them they give a nice balance because they balance each other off same thing with the smaller gears we have a medium gear and then we have one smaller one so if you want to build them exactly the same i'm gonna take a look at them over there so we can pause the video and build them and i'm gonna talk about why is this only half a gear so this smaller one is just in the same line of the barrel so we use the middle barrel as the reference and this bigger one is also having a center but the two block center on the barrel so the bottom center is on the barrel and well this is just half of the gear because if you go inside there is no way you can fit this in you're gonna need to punch this out if you want to fit this gear in and well i've decided not to punch out my wall and just build the half of the gear so basically this gear is a lie it's a fake gear and it's mostly used for decoration purposes as all of the gears over here are so i'm gonna take a closer look at them you can pause the video if you want to and we're gonna go on the last part which is the roof So for you this was a little bit of a building, for me it was just copy and paste as you can see and now we can go on the final part which is creating the roof for our clock tower. And well the roof we are gonna start by creating a ring on top of it. So this ring will be consisting of dark oak planks, dark oak stairs and dark oak slabs. So start by creating something like this, then on top of this upside down stair we're gonna have a slab, after that followed by the stair we're gonna have a spruce, spruce slab dark oak slab after that we are going to have an upside down stair over here like so and this upside down stair is going to point in the stair that's going to be normally standing that's english for you and below the stair you're gonna have a dark oak trap door and then you just mirror the same exact thing over here of course so black black block slab stair slab stair that's upside down followed by a slab and that's it after that you can also add a block over here with a slab on top of it also a block over here with a slab on top of it and then you just complete this ring all around the place or all around the tower actually and well with that finished we can also fill in this empty space as you can see so normally or originally i have a dark oak over here some more some dark stripped dark oak actually then we have some stripped oak planks or oak logs actually and then the same thing like here and the same thing over here of course and after that we are going to go and continue creating the frame 
or for our roof. Now we can start and build the frame for our roof. So it's going to be started by a block right on top of this stair. Then it's going to be followed up by a stair, stair behind it, block, stair, stair behind it, block, stair, stair behind it, block, stair. And now you are in the middle and then you can just up it by one block like this and then just do this on all three sides that we have left. Okay, now when your frame is finished for the roof, we can start placing some dark prismarine. So, in this case, we are going to have a dark prismarine over here, followed by a dark prismarine right there, like this. Then it's going to have a slab on top of it. After that, we are going to have one, two, three dark prismarines here, followed by a stair on top of it. Same thing on this side, so one, two, three, followed by a stair, one, two, followed by a slab. In the middle, we are going to have a dark prismarine, dark prismarine followed by a slab. After that, over here, we are going to have a dark prismarine, dark prismarine. Same thing on the over height, on all, same thing on this side, dark prismarine, dark prismarine. And then it's going to be followed up by a stair, then a stair, and then here on top we are going to be having a dark prismarine with a slab on top of it and then you just copy this thing here here and here of course so once you fill this in with some dark prismarine we have some finishing touches to do we have this little like pointy roof let's say on top with some dark oak fences after that you can go on this side where we have this little hanging bit of our dark oak slab, put some grindstone followed by a spruce fence and then a hanging lantern and you do that all on four sides as well and once you do that you have completed your clockwork tower. And here it is finished in all its glory. I hope you managed to follow along with this tutorial, I hope it was helpful and I hope you managed to understand everything I have to say and you managed to build this as I did. So with that I think this is the end of the video, I thank you for watching and subscribe if you want to see more of course and I'll see you in the next video.